What makes you want to work so hard to get a dish so perfect? And that's what my job is, to make sure they're there to do it. I have a full a la carte restaurant. I have a du jour menu, which is a, a structure of 3-3-3. Three, three, three. I have a tasting menu. I also have a speciality area, which I call Les Arts de la Table, where I want to showcase the service staff. It's very important in an establishment like this to showcase the, the service staff and show what they can do. You know, presentation, uh, as well as the quality of any kind of food in an establishment like this is imperative in every sense of the word. You know, we meticulously think things through to make sure that the temperature, when the customers receive the food, that the temperature is correct, is that things are placed so it's comfortable for the guests to eat, and of course to make sure that you get the finish the way that you want. When I first came here, um, I had been here for about six weeks, and the service wasn't particularly good on that day. And then I, I shouted, right, come on. I took everybody upstairs. I took them into the restaurant. I said, have a look at that ceiling. Look around. Have a look at those chairs. Have a look at the tabletop. Have a look at the entrance of the restaurant. Look at the beauty of the place. Look at the light, the way it comes in. And I had young guys standing there and were looking at me and they're going, oh my God. Oh. And I said, do you think your food is suitable and it deserves a place in this particular restaurant. And I would say, you know, probably 70% of the youngsters immediately said, no, it's not good enough, chef. Now we make it a natural process to make sure everybody sees the dining areas because it sets the scene. It's not about um, what trickery you can do in the kitchen. It's about what you eat, what you taste, and how the food looks in this environment, what will make you remember a good evening or not.